All right, so who are we here with? I'm um, Talik. Casey. How y'all feeling, man? I'm, I'm good. I'm chill. I'm good. Yeah, we're too. Yeah, yeah. I'm fried. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. All right, so let me ask you guys. Who's your favorite rapper of all time and why? Lancey Foe. Uh, he's an underground. Well, he's a, he's actually super mainstream where he's at overseas. Like, he's blowing up right now, too. Like, I fuck with him, too, because, like, like low-key, like, when you think about his genre, you wouldn't expect him to have, like, serious, like, content or, like, like, like um topics and shit like that but like when you listen to his music like it's actually like liberating and he's actually talking about some like real insightful stuff and stuff like that like and his fashion like Lancey's fashion is like that's probably top tier so like yeah he's such an inspiration i guess he's a rapper yeah smino i fuck with smino a lot like the way how he just like the way his lyricism is really good i love how he plays around with his words i fucks with him like and his yo his fits are fire as fuck i'm not gonna lie what is your favorite rap album of all time travis scott rodeo um, nah, yeah, cause that was like the album that kind of got me into like even listening to that like that type of music in general, like just like grunge type of music, type of like that trap type of stuff. That album and like it was like I think my freshman year in high school, like I was listening to that, so it was like a meaningful time point. So yeah, facts. Section 80 by Kendrick Lamar, I fucks with that so much, bro. <laughs> I can't explain it. I have been like listening to him so much lately. I just fucked with that album out of all of them. They just, it just, bro, his, everything was so good. I'm sorry. I can't explain it, but yes. What do you think the most important element in a rap song is? I think the sound, like the beat itself, like the melodies in it, you know, like sonically, how sonically good it sounds. Like, um, I feel like that's a, that's gonna be the thing that's gonna grab your attention to the song regardless, especially for me. The flow, like even when a rapper just stops talking, it has to be like timed correctly. I just like things like that, that's really good. Who are some of the most underrated rappers in your opinion? That's a good one, I'm, I kind of twisted with this one. Uh, underrated, oh, oh! Like most people think of him as a, like a, a producer or like who just makes beats, but um, Pierre Bourne, I fuck with Pierre music, I feel like he's very underrated. Dochi and Saba, they deserve so much more flowers. They like, they really do make poetry and I love his, Saba's storytelling, I love Dochi's like lyricism too. They're both really good people. Do you think auto-tune is ruining the industry? Yeah, it is, like, and it's crazy because, like, I think auto-tune in its prime, like, it made it, like, evolutionized. Like, it really, like, it was a good thing. Like, it was dope. But, like, now it's, like, since that's, like, the wave and, like, people think that's the blueprint, it's people who shouldn't even be making music probably just using auto-tune, like, just hoping, like, they can just be, like, Uzi or Cardi or Travis, somebody like that. Like, maybe I can be like those guys. And it's, like, not hating on the trend or, like, the wave, but it's, like, if it's not for you, then, like, you know, it's, it's annoying seeing everyone doing it. I think it's ruining. I think it's ruining it a lot. I like authenticity, and I think that like with auto tune, it doesn't show that much. It doesn't show the actual voice. I like hearing people's voices. It's very beautiful. One stays, one goes. Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Y'all gonna hate me. <laughs> this guy doesn't do who I feel like who. Kendrick won the beef. He won it. He killed Drake. But like you know, shout out K Dot. You feel me? Kendrick maybe got to go for me, bro. Drake is like our best. He's like the LeBron of our like rap gay right now like he's the one everybody hate on but like realistically he's the best he's the best bro like he's the best like come on it's drake bro like it's drake every year he's killing i never fucked with drake like at all it's always <laughs> personal bias man. <laughs> but of course <laughs> I'm thinking of the music. You know, wow. I'm you not even thinking about him as a character. I'm thinking about his music. I never fucked with Drake. So he sucks. Yes. Wow. Okay, as okay. someone who has their families in clubs and stuff, and I have heard Drake's music, I never liked it. Even when I was young, I never liked it. So I will say Drake will have to go. Drake nah, I kind of agree. In terms of what I personally listen to, nah, I don't be listening to Drake no more. Especially after like 2019, like every time it's just like, it's just cringe music. But like still, like he could drop trash albums and it's still like, yo, like it's Drake. Like, come on, man. Travis Scott or Playboy Cardi? I can't answer, bro. I can't answer. I actually do like Travis Scott more, but like on a on a like general like basis, like um yeah, it's Cardi. Like like Cardi is definitely better. Like it's so bad. Like he's so like out there now. Like even he has like a cringe like fan base now. Like he's he's blown up, man. Like it's Cardi. As someone who never really listened to Travis Scott, I will have to say. 
Travis Scott will have to go. But Playboy Cardi, I'm gonna separate him from his like little weird group. I will say that he can stay. I like some of his music. He did become cringy a little bit, I'm not gonna lie for me. And I do cringe a little bit when I hear his music, just a little bit. But he's he's a cool person. I love his music. I won't love. I won't say love. I'll say I like his music. You can see the hype. I can see the hype. Yeah. He does have fire ass fits if you go on his page. But the hype is too much, honestly. Yeah, that's yeah, why that's why yeah, that's much. why I said like the fuck. hype is too much. Like, yeah. That's why he's dominant though. Like it's like it's like a cult between him and his fans. Like they literally die for him if they could. Future young thug. Oh man. Uh, I like Young Thug, man. I gotta go with Thug number two. The future is like, you know, it's future too. It's like, I don't know, it's like both answers is correct, man. Like, like I feel like once again too, like on a broader like aspect, I think future is definitely the bigger artist. Like, you know, future is the bigger artist. But me personally, I definitely listen to Young Thug more. I listen to Young Thug more. Future would have to go. No disrespect to him, but he'd have to go. Nah, backlash is gonna happen. We're yeah, I know. It's future, right? <laughs> I know. Kanye or Lil Wayne? So Kanye. Kanye stays. What the fuck have I ever? <laughs> What's the last time I listened to Lil Wayne? Lil Wayne, right? Yeah. Nah, it's crazy because Lil Wayne is actually like in the like in the hood and in the culture. Like, yeah, Lil Wayne is like that guy is like he's top tier too. And most people don't even fuck with Kanye no more. So it's like you know, me personally, I still recognize his genius sometimes. Like his, he's he's Kanye for me. Like he's definitely. I like Kanye's. I like Kanye more. So I'm gonna keep him. Only I I love his music, most of his music, and. Yeah, I don't listen to Wayne, so <laughs> Cardi's better, way better. All right, and last one for you guys, Frank Ocean or Tyler the Creator? That's a tough one. Yes. That's 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 probably the toughest one, cause it's like they're like very they're very similar, but like at the same time, mad different. So it's just like there's certain vibes where it's just like, yeah, I'm, I want to listen to Tyler the Creator, but then it's like certain vibes where it's like, yeah, oh, bro, put some Frank Ocean. On. That's right. always gonna go crazy. I'm gonna have to keep Frank Ocean, but like, I I can't get mad about that. If you say Tyler, like... Frank Ocean has not been present for a minute, I'm not gonna lie. Nah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, but, and I loved, I love them both equally, but Frank Ocean has not been, like, alive. And I have no idea where that nigga is, honestly, so what the fuck, I, I will yeah, have to say... Tyler's been dropping, like... Yeah, I will like, have to say yeah. he has to go. Frank Ocean has to go. All right, and last question for you guys. It's finally getting nice out. What is the theme song of the day? Yo, like, you go, they're gonna be bad, but like, you, it's gonna be honest. You guys say it's the Slizzy song, it's like, bro, like, Cash Go Bay got like the streets flooded with rum punch, bro. Like, hate it or love it. Like, that's the top song right now. Like, re like everyone re always listens to that song. Like, you can't escape that song. Like. For me, my day, my theme song for today, Merlot by Smino. So it looks so amazing today.